Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. On today's video, we are going to do an oil change on the Mini Cooper S, right here. It's very simple, so let me show you the process. Technically, I don't have to do my oil change right now, but since I purchased the car, I have not done it because the previous owner which is a dealer told me that they did an oil change about 500 miles before i purchased the car so i, I just decided to wait and i ordered this kit right here from ftp euro no commercial here and it has been sitting in my garage for three or four months now so i decided today to do it because i've driven the car about 2000 and some plus miles and although i have wanted to wait 3000 i just i'm just eager to do it so i just decided to go ahead and do it the process on the mini is pretty simple first we have to drain the oil on the bottom here you know drain the oil and once we drain it we have to remove this coolant tank reservoir and then the oil filter cap is pretty much a little buried down here you will see it and then remove the filter change it then add more oil right here I'm going to show you the procedure it's pretty simple so follow me the first step is make sure that you jack up your car or put your car on ramps like i have right here so that you can easily work under and access the drain plug the second step is normally to remove the cover i've already done it in the past so i have it laying around here i just didn't put it back so the cover pretty much stays here like this you remove phillips screw right here and a phillips screw right there you remove that cover once you remove that now you use an eight millimeter Torx hex and then open the drain plug. Make sure that you have your catch ready for the oil that is going to drip. So I'm gonna go ahead right now and remove that using this uh, hex socket. Right. Here goes the oil, here goes the oil. It's coming, oh it's stuck. So we are going to leave this drip completely and then go ahead and start working on the top. The next step is to remove the coolant reservoir. We're just removing it to put it on the side so that we have enough clearance to remove the cap for the oil filter. So using a 10 millimeter socket, you remove that. Once it's out, just find a little spot on the side to place it. Since I have this big intake, I might have to remove it so I have enough clearance. Let me see. You may not have to do this at home because I have an aftermarket intake and it's, the pipe is bigger. So I might have to do that to get current because the it's right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. Let me show it to you real quick. So I think I found it. This is the cap. Like I'm literally pointing at it right there. Right there. Since that area is buried, I made a combination of this. So this is 27 millimeter. I have this swivel uh, set right here and I have an extension made out of two different. So I'm going to go ahead now and attempt to remove that. When you talk it back, when you put the filter and you talk it back, it's 25 newton meter. It's actually even written on the cap. Probably should be able to remove it by now. Yep. So let me talk. There you go. Whew, finally, it's out. So I put the oil filter cap in here, in this plastic, so I can control so this filter came with the ring and a washer this is the old washer the washer is for the bolt that you remove on the drain so i already replaced it and put back the, the bolt so this is the old one so you have a new one that i just placed back in there and this filter 
this is the new one also came in with the little ring this one is to replace this one that you see right here so literally we need to replace this ring right here with this one so we're going to remove it and also place the new filter to remove it is quite simple you can use a screwdriver a pick tool or whatever just gonna put it in there pull it and it will come off that's the old one so we want to go ahead and put the new one in now this this is the spot where it has to go so you go ahead and stretch it is it look then when it gaps to the spot, you push it all the way and back it's in. Now you take the filter, there you are, and you have to make sure that you, when you put it, that it locks. You need to hear like a little kind of click. There you go. Pull it, it doesn't, it's not coming off. Now all we have to do is pretty much place the filter back in that hard to find spot and then Talk it to 25 newton meter. I have to maybe wipe off a little bit of this excess oil. When you place it back, I recommend to actually put it by hand first, put it, turn it all the way, and then use your 27 millimeter socket and wrench to kind of like tighten it up a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna do at this moment. Alright, so it is secure now with the hand. Let me use the 27 millimeter and then tighten it up. Now is the part where we're actually going to add more oil to the car. Uh -huh. So here's my oil cap. Put my funnel here. And I decided to use Liquid Moly 5W30 because that's what is recommended for this car. So that's the only reason. Now for the Mini Cooper, we want to add about 4 quarts. Now this bottle. As you can see, it's 5.28 quarts. So I need to kind of like measure how much I'm adding. And based on that, you can see one, two, three, four, five. So at the end, I want to be about right here, you know, when I'm done adding the oil into the car. So what I want to do now that I've done, done adding all the oil is that I want to close this, check the diff stick right now, start up the car, let it run for about 10 seconds, check the diff stick again just to make sure that I'm in the right level. If I'm not in the right level, I'll go ahead and adjust until I'm in the right level from the diff stick. Let's check the level right now. Okay, so. Kind of like right here right now. Now, let me start up the engine. For about 10 seconds so it cycle through and sucks more then i will see where i am all right let's check the level again as you can see the level is like right here Alright guys, as you can see, I am done with the oil change. I've made a little mess as far as dropping the oil when I remove the filter, so I have to clean that up. Don't tell the wifey. And um, yeah, so I hope you like this video. If you learned something, please drop a comment below. If you saw something like a mistake that I've done, drop a comment below so that I can learn also from you. So on this note, I'll see you on the next video. Stay safe, guys.